this video is uh, not about necessarily picking locks but um, it's just about how locks really work uh, as uh, lock pickers you know as this community is um, we tend to just look at these central cores and um, we just know that we need to open that without always knowing precisely what is going on inside the body. So this is what I have done. I have taken off the top layer of the lock, that is the entire lock, and I have replaced it with a plastic a perspex cover so that we can see precisely what happens when we put our key in and turn it. We can see the cam here working, how it catches on here and locks it and twice round to open it up. Well I just find that's quite interesting because we spend most of our time just playing with the cores and not really looking inside. So I've done the same thing with this one here. This is a cross lock and uh, As you can see, if I can get my hands out of the way of the camera, when we turn that, it opens. But what I've done, I have taken off the metal casing and have made it completely see-through. And what I'm going to do now is to pick this so that we can see all of the workings happening, which I, I really quite like. So I'm going to lock it. Now then, I think we all know by now that um, these cross locks, once you put the key in, it doesn't come out until it's gone back to the very beginning. And therefore, it needs to be picked two or three times. It needs to be picked from there to there, and then from there to there, and then it will open to there, and it needs to be picked back to there so that the key can come out. Well, I'm going to do that now so that we can see exactly what it looks like when I'm picking it. So first of all, I'm going to lock it, and then, I'm going to put it into my vise uh, and uh, we'll have a go at picking it. It's now in the vise and hopefully the um, camera angle is good enough so that my fingers don't get in the way when I try and pick it. Now the cross lock needs to be picked on three or four sides, this one only three. It's exactly the same technique as picking the pin tumbler locks, except we need to do on three sides. I can hear clicks as we go around. A little bit of give. Oh, okay. So there is the first one. And now I have to pick it again. To get it round there's the clicks and there's the second one it's quite normal for the tension wrenches to come out 
I find. Okay, so now we need to pick it for the third time. And the third time, you will notice, I hope, that the, um, I'm going to move this around slightly, that the cam is ready to engage with this device here, which should open the lock. Okay, in we go. And, okay, we're ready to open the lock. The lock is now open, but I need to pick it now one more time to bring the keyway back to the top so that I can put the key in. go quite a few bindings in there unless you see inside the whole device sometimes it's difficult to know precisely why it needs to be picked so many times but once you can get to see in that normally happens. Once you can get to see inside the whole case, then you can understand it better. This last pick is a little bit more difficult, I don't know why. And now we are back to the start so that the key will now fit in and lock it up again. Hmm, I hope you enjoyed that. I certainly enjoyed making these.